Good morning, everybody. How are we this morning? It is bank holiday weekend. It's Friday. I think it's like nine, half nine. You can come in. Didn't want to open the door. Be like amazing. I didn't want to disturb you. <laughs> I decided to vlog today because I think we're doing quite a few things today, right? Mm. We've got little bits plans and since being in the house i've not vlogged and that was one thing i wanted to do so i'm trying to like get myself into the rhythm and actually start doing it going to b and q um you can probably see all the paint samples and stuff in the back let's just pretend it doesn't exist we decided to paint the kitchen it's currently like a gray but the theme of the kitchen is more of like a nude like the countertops are nude the cupboards are nude i think like a nice sort of nude on the wall well that was the plan anyway but to be honest i've tried about 20 samples and none of them have worked out I'm stressed. Baby, listen, okay, I've been to B&Q, Wix, Crown, you name it. <laughs> Just to find a fucking paint sample. It's a bigger one, like half an hour away from us, so we're gonna go there. And um, apparently there's a place called Valspar. I was asking on the ground to see if you guys knew anywhere that did, I guess, more custom colours, more of a range. Apparently Valspar, you could literally take in like a sample. They can scan the colour and make paint as close to that as possible. So that's what we're about to do. Down in my coffee though. Cheers to that. <laughs> Just maybe I'm feeling a little bit crazy today i might even dye my hair not to give anything away but maybe even a different color I'd, i don't know and then tonight which i'm really really guessed about me and jake are doing like a date night which is something we kind of do regularly in lockdown we get dressed up we have drinks sometimes we have dinner and we just do that kind of vibe you know main reason why i wanted to pick up the camera um because i know a lot of people have been like can you show us what you do that's kind of like the rough plan the thing is being an adult Babes, you don't know where the day's gonna go, let me tell you. First things first, okay? We're gonna take Cobes for a walk because he needs the piss. <laughs> do you know what I mean? One of my favorite things to do in the morning is take Cobes for a walk because I feel like it just starts my day. Do you know what I mean? Like getting the fresh air, going for a walk. And apparently like for your mental state, going for a walk is meant to be fab. So if you don't do it, just try it. Even if it's like a 20 minute walk, just do it. It like clears your mind. I feel like it starts my day in like a positive way. Jake the other week as well, found like a countryside walk and it's beautiful. Um, You go by like purple, <laughs> sorry past horses countryside like it's dead cute and it's a lot quieter like you can walk around here but it's more like roady and then there's like off-road footpaths and stuff which is beautiful so speaking of cobra i'm gonna get him Co <laughs> oh, <big laughs> hands. hi good morning this is oh thank you <laughs> He's going crazy. He's like, bitch, I'm ready for a walk. Let's go. <laughs> actually, real quick before we go, I think I'm going to grab a hat because I think it's actually pretty fucking cold outside. Oh, walking wardrobe sneak peek, by the way. Well, he's on. Let's go, pals. It's actually a bit nips, you know. But like, it's also dead weird because the sun keeps coming out. So then it sometimes feels warmer and then sometimes it's like dead like chilly. Proper spring morning. It is, yeah. But look at this route, guys. It's literally just like fields. There's Jordan looking all like sexy and there's me like... Oh yeah, but you actually had the beauty of waking up like that. I actually had to somewhat try and even then, oh, we're not really there. Nothing beats fresh horse poo in the morning. <laughs> does smell a bit. <laughs> look, they've got their doggy on the field. Oh yeah, look. Oh my God, how cute. Are there any horses on here? The horses, where are all the horses? Yeah, the horses are out and about. Private land, this yeah, no, one. Really, it'd be sadly after a small my minority not having control of their dogs but now if it's called so oh what hold on let me see sadly after a small minority not having control of their dogs and now a physical assault on a member of our family <gasps> we've had to make the hard decision to put gates up on our farm oh my god it's actually kind of sad isn't it you probably find you by a member of our family means like their dog or something like they yeah dog yeah like the dog yeah dog on dog look at this beautiful one hi babes you are beautiful did you enjoy your walk big man's did you enjoy your walk? Oh, oh beautiful. Damn. Oh, good boy. There you go, you're a bit more comfortable now. Go get you a drink, come on then. Cope, sit. Good boy, wait. Good boy, go on. Good boy. Guys, when I tell you, I'm excited about this. I'm finally taking these babies out. Jake got me these Chloe boots for Christmas and I haven't had the chance to wear them out. I mean, I could have. I could have worn them to like Tesco or something, but <laughs> majority of the time, let's be real, I'm in like a tracksuit or I'm just like in trainers. Like I just don't, do you know what I mean? This is the type of boot that I feel like you need to wear an actual outfit for. Lowered it so we can actually see. Oh, honestly, I cannot tell you how in love with these boots that I am. Didn't think it was quite possible to love a shoe as much as I love these, but... Stop it. When I tell you that I'm obsessed, doesn't cut it. Oh my God, thank 
need boots so much. I'm a bit of a whore for boots though. Do you know what I mean? Like I have about 50, but these are my favorite. I think these are genuinely my favorite boot that I own. Very me in these boots, okay? RIP these boots, I'm telling you. This is your sign if you've wanted these boots, maybe just get them. Just get them. While you're at this angle, I might as well show you where, like tell you where my outfit's from in case anybody is curious. The white hoodie is actually a white hoodie dress from Misguided. You know one of the Playboy hoodie dresses. And I've just layered this big shirt on from, I think it's Nasty Gal. And then um, this hat is, this is Jake's. Where's this from? I don't even, <laughs> Boohoo Man. I mean, I wasn't even gonna wear it. I literally wore it on the wall, but to be fair, I feel like it's kind of become part of it now. Then I of course have on all accessories and stuff, which speaking of jewelry, Cheeky plug right now, I want to share with you a jewellery brand that I've literally been obsessed with, but you guys know this because when I did a jewellery video months ago now, but this brand was in there because I think their jewellery is sick. Very mean, exactly what I look for, so I'm going to include a clip now, um, and they are the collab of today's video, so let's go. By the way, if you see any white on my hands, I am adulting, I'm painting. But that's not what we're here to talk about, we're here to talk about Regal Rose. So, they're a brand I've used for a very, very long time. I love their aesthetic. I feel like they really stand out in terms terms of the pieces that they have, the intricacy, the, I don't know, it's just got a different vibe. And I love that. Cool designs, groovy, funky, their jewelry's nickel safe as well. And I just love what they're about. When it comes to jewelry, we all know I'm a gold baby. I typically wear gold, but they have silver and gold. They have both. To be fair, I like mixing. Crazy. On top of that as well, they've got like the dainty, delicate, intricate type of pieces, but they've also got bold, chunky statement pieces too. Basically, if you love my jewelry, what I wear, you will absolutely dig them, like I promise. I mean, listen, look at this, the packaging in itself, so cute. I'm a sucker for packaging. I feel like it's a whole experience. So cute, all the rings and stuff come in their own little box like this. That's nice, right? And at the same time, you actually get a little storage basket. It's, uh, it's pretty obvious that I like to um, stack, layer, listen, bitch. I think that jewelry is one of the best accessories that you can have on your body. With all that said, let me show you some of my favorite pieces that Regal Rose have on the website at the moment that I'm genuinely wearing every single day I've added them <laughs> to the already <laughs> massive freaking collection of jewelry on my body. You know what, I'm gonna take everything off and show you it in one of the pots just so you can see it properly. First one, this is a plain gold band, but it's engraved with United Hearts, Deaf Only Parts. How beautiful is that? So pretty, and imagine you and your partner having one of these each. Like that is the cutest fucking shit. <laughs> these next two I layer together and I think it looks beautiful. I wear them on my middle finger and you can't tell me that this is not one of the most beautiful rings you've ever seen. Like, look at that detail. The black gemstone as well is something else. And the band, like the actual ring itself is actually a snake as well. I just think that's so sick. And then this is her. This is what I like to layer her with. It's like a V-shaped ring, cute little pearl in the middle. Because it is the shape that it is, it almost hangs under a ring. So this makes a great layering piece. I kind of want this to be like the shapes of my engagements and like wedding rings and stuff. Like I'm so, I'm just, I'm just saying. This one I think is beautiful too. It's almost like a vine. And look at the red gemstone. See, this is what I love about Regal Rose. They do different types of stuff. Do you know what I mean? The red I feel like looks really expensive and the detail in that is incredible. This ring, my personal favorite way to wear this is on my thumb because it's a bit thicker. I just feel like it adds that statement. The design's like a regal type of feel. I think it's wicked. Earrings now. What I like about Regal Rose too is a lot of the earrings, you can actually choose whether you want them in a pair or like a single one. How cool because there's sometimes where I just want one, like I've got more piercings in one ear than the other. So sometimes I just want one like little statement thing on its own. I'll put in some pictures so you can actually see them properly. Obviously earrings are a lot smaller. First one is this cute little, it's like a, like a rose and leaves. The rose sits on your lobe and then the leaves like hug your ear. And I love that. It's like one goes in the front and one bit goes in the back. It's like two little pieces. This little huggy hoop, this is in the shape of barbed wire. As well, which I love, but I like the fact it's a small hoop, you know, especially if you're like me and you like layering your stuff, you want smaller little pieces so that you can kind of play around and do your thing with it. Next is a little red gemstone, which I'm obsessed with. I think it's just the fact that it's red switches it up. Studs are studs, but not with this. Do you know what I mean? This one, let me tell you, this is one of my absolute favorites. If you have a cartilage piercing, listen up. Okay. It's a snake, okay? And it comes in three pieces and it gives the illusion that this wraps kind of round and in your ear. It's so sick. It's like the snake head goes in your actual cartilage piercing. The mid kind of hugs around the middle part of your ear, which I've actually got that on this ear right now. See, that's another thing that I love. You don't have to wear all three pieces. Like because it comes as separate, you've actually got an ear cuff out of it. And then the tail just goes in like a low piercing. Looks complicated, but really you're just putting each piece into your ear and it just look, it's so 
cool. I don't think I have a cool earring, to be honest. <laughs> Look how tiny this is. So this is why I need pictures, because <laughs> it's so small. A little huggy hoop with a purple gemstone in the middle. I like wearing this up here as well, but to be honest, I just mix and match and switch up all the time. Then I'm gonna finish off with a couple of necklaces. Why I don't have this on right now, bear with, because to be honest, this needs to be on me. Okay, oh my God much better look at how beautiful this is a clear heart with a little butterfly in the middle they also have one like this it's a little bit smaller but same type of style with a unicorn's head in and that is beautiful as well nice little delicate little oh, i love it this kind of piece is exactly what i like to do which i've done today is kind of like layer it up and to be honest all that i'm saying just get your asses onto regal rose treat yourself to make you feel a little bit better i do actually have a discount code i will put it on screen i'm pretty sure it's queen jordan they gave me this discount code and i'm like guys queen i get so many questions about my jewelry you know where stuff is from especially the pieces that really stand out and regal rose is a brand that does exactly that with their jewelry you want to up your jewelry game baby this is your invitation let's go what do you think about my boots i'm just sharing it with everybody do you like them Sick. they're cool aren't they Sick. just someone got me them who's that I'm just this really cool guy, like... Ha, fuck it up. Bought me these boots for Christmas, can you believe it? No, and right. they're so beautiful. What brand are they? Chloe. Chloe boots. You look cool. Come and shake your fit, come on. You look cool as fuck. Oh my god, I should have worn my Jordans because then we would have had his and hers on. I thought we'd have to that high. Come on. Oh, look, yeah. Oh. Blue on <laughs> Everlast tracksuit, is her? That tracksuit actually does look like... Essentials. Essentials tracksuit. Yeah, I should have sent to me a minute ago. But no, it's nice. It's gifty! <laughs> Stubs, being you. Let's go. On a trip. Good. Let's go, babes. And you're coming with. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've finished my career. And my family is settled in England, so why would I go anywhere else? Our producer Joe is a Chelsea. Second home. <laughs> Best thing is, my sister got me a Starbucks voucher for my birthday because she clearly knows me too well. Thank you. Cheers, okay. cheers, thank you. Thank you. This looks sexual, to be honest. For people that want to know what my Starbucks order is, I always get asked this if I post it on Instagram, I'm just like, what do you order? Caramel frappuccino with coffee, and obviously whipped cream on top, or it's a iced caramel macchiato, um, and sometimes I put like an extra shot of like caramel or vanilla in there, but you just can't beat this. Mm, every time, every time, shit's fine, I taste it. Ham and cheese toasty as well, always. That's not my standard Starbucks order, is it? Yeah. Look this, look at this. <laughs> So we've actually just, oh, the state of my mask, let's not talk about it. We've stopped at Pets at Home because we're going to get Big Man's some, basically he has this treat and it's a broccoli. It's literally like a teddy, like it's like a teddy little small broccoli thing and he absolutely loves it. Only thing is, because of the material, he does rip them up relatively quick. So we're going to go in and see if we can get a few of them. I think we got it in a PR package, but it was from Pets at Home. So we're going to see if we can get some more. And then also get him a like bone as well. Um, that you can just like gnaw on and nibble on. We found the broccolis. He loves broccoli. Oh my god, that would be cute as well. The elephant. Yeah, we like this one. We like this one. <gasps> oh my god, that's so cute. So he loves them. Make sure, yeah, there are. Yeah, good, there's some left. Good. He's gonna absolutely love them. This is the kind of thing he likes. Oh, I'm sorry, but imagine give it. To be fair, it's probably the right size treat for him. <laughs> Do we want more of a treat though that he can actually eat as opposed to just, just normal? Paddy whack. 100% natural paddy whack. A complimentary pet food oh, for dogs. Yeah, let's get one of these, aren't they? Get one of these, yeah. Some sort of like hard beef. It's dry stick. though, so it's okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, that really makes me cringe though. Yeah, he'll like it. He will like it, but oh god, I'm just a pig. Yeah. Look. No, stop. Just like that. Good to be Oh my god, he's absolutely gonna have a whale of a time. Let me show you what we got him. He's gonna love this, honestly. You saw we got him some broccolis. This is the toy that he literally is obsessed with. It like crinkles, and there's a squeaker as well. Pink donut. <laughs> elephant, which is the same as the broccoli, um, but that is just the cutest thing ever. Fun fact, elephant is actually my favorite animal. We picked these up right before we checked out. They're chicken hide free twists with peanut butter. Personally, I don't like giving Cobar Rawhide. Rawhide, because I don't think it digests properly. And also I think it like could get stuck at the back of their throat. There's just some like dangers almost with it. And that's why they make rawhide free stuff. So it's like it, but not. 100% rawhide free, easily digestible, delicious, and promotes healthy teeth and gums. Um, and it's made with real chicken too. I think it's gonna absolutely love those. We did pick up that like beef hard stick thing because he's obsessed with stuff like this. And I like it because he can just gnaw on it for ages. Trains his brain as well. Cause it's like, he has to think about how to get into this and like eat it and stuff like that. And then Jake can help but get the pigs here, which makes me like want to vom, but just the fact that- But he'll love it. He will love it. He loves stuff like this, doesn't he? Yeah. But 
yeah um and that's the that's the haul everyone i want to give them to him right now yes yeah, he's gonna absolutely mm. you can see his little face yeah his broccoli that he has now is so like almost far gone a legs come off we had to like cut one of the legs off because otherwise he It'll obviously would have it. choked on it more than anything on his back teeth he just like chews on it but we were saying isn't it we think it's because like it's wet with this saliva and it just almost has that like he does his whole like she chew yeah he does. doesn't he? it's gonna be one happy dog let me tell you um oh my god i've never seen being cute this busy why is being cute so busy i mean it is good friday to be fair but still so cute no I mean, it's a big shop to be fair, but everyone said Farrow and Ball. Apparently, this paint for nude tones is the best. And um, to be fair, these ones do look nice. There was white, Oxford stone, skimming stone, elephant's breath. We just need to like maybe find the samples and just give them a go. What one do you like the best? I like this one. What's that one? Oh, Oxford stone. I'm trying to look for skimming stone, to be honest. I'm trying skimming to... stone, which one's that? I think they haven't got any. I don't think they do, do they? That was this one here. Okay, so we did actually manage to get hold of some paint samples in the end. I'm thinking that I might actually put some on the wall now because then I feel like paint needs like 24 hours to really just settle into the wall and be the real colour. I don't know why, but they just look really dark or is it just me? Like, this one looks a little bit too pinky. That looks a bit too yellow. I feel like even Jake's not going to really vibe with these. I just have a feeling. Right, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how they dry. Right now, though, I am craving a smoothie. How can I help? I don't... <sighs> okay. Every time he does that, though, when he jumps up, it's the most annoying thing in the world. We're trying to, like, pack that in. The thing is, Dobermans, they're known as Velcro dogs. So they're, like, a really needy, affectionate dog. And each, obviously, Doberman is different, but they all have their own, like, levels of neediness. Um, a lot of dogs jump up, but he's a big dog. Do you know what I mean as well? And it's like manners and stuff. We don't want him jumping up at people, but that's a process. It's not perfect, And but who is, you know? Now, I usually do this in the morning, but I'm gonna do it now because I'm craving one. I, fun fact, I have a smoothie every single morning. Listen, it's healthy, right? But at the same time, I just enjoy it. I think they're so delish. I'm gonna show you how I make mine really quick. Just in case anybody's asking, it's the most simple thing in the world. Um, I literally use mango and strawberries. That's my favorite smoothie. So simple. Frozen fruit, mango and strawberries. My Nutribullet, which is literally the love of my life. <laughs> Just put in as much as you want. You know what, I'm gonna finish that bag. I like mine the majority mango, so I fill mine up. And then I put in probably like four strawberries, three or four. I'm gonna put in a little bit of milk. Sometimes I use almond milk, because you can't taste it. I don't actually like almond milk, but in this you can't taste it. But I've just got semi-skimmed milk right now. And then I'm just going to top off the rest with water. And I do it pretty much so like I covered the fruit. A teaspoon, maybe two of sweetener. So many fruits that you won't even have to put sweetener in. I know like if you add banana to a smoothie, it has natural sweetness. So you don't need to. This does to be fair, but I like mine to be quite sweet. And that's the trick because this is, what is it? Two calories per teaspoon. That's literally it. I think that's done. Mm. Wow, I'm sorry, but does that no. not look no. delicious? That's actually a bit runnier today. Sometimes it's thicker than that. Wow. Shit bangs. Oh, that's so good. Come and try. Come and try my smoothie. That's really nice. Like it literally takes me like two minutes in the morning, and it's so good. You want one, don't you? But you want you want a. We make me banana. Right. See this ordering I'm getting. Go on. Five scoops of protein. Bit of. Bit of that and some coffee. Oh god, the dog's going crazy in the garden. Good. <laughs> Kyra is actually running. <laughs> Look at Kyra. Kyra, what are you doing? Handsomes? He's pissed off somewhere. Go get it. He loves that thing. Down. Kobe, listen. Good boy. <laughs> why, did, why did you do it like? Oh, no, no, he swings flew at me. Oh, very coffee. Wow. What's that? The Superman blends. First of all, why is it so warm? You've got it twisted. That is not for me. Yeah, but it's like 40 grams of protein in it. With yeah, like, like health kick and stuff, but at the same time, like... With it's, coffee. It's too much banana. Good macros. Very banana -y. Yeah, the banana. You know what? If you liked banana and chocolate, mm. you would love that, but. The... And it's got a bit of coffee in it. And a bit of coffee, nice. So you're going to be alert. Hi. 
He's waiting for me to throw this. Okay, I'm gonna kick it, I'm gonna kick it. Baby, I'm soaking up the rays. It low-key is a bit chilly though still. I think it looks warmer in here than it actually is. We live in the UK, so sometimes we get sun without the um the heat. without the actual like heat, yeah. I turn a light on. Do I smell? Yeah. What? Why are you far away from me? <laughs> so the other day, right, for the other week, we gave Koba a treat thing. One of those ones that you chew, 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 and then like you can oh What's he trying to, what's he doing with it? He's like attacking it. Not a treat that he can eat straight away, he like chews for it. And he got to about this much left of that treat and he kept running to try and bury it. Is that what he's doing with this one? He's Cubes, like, I'm gonna save this when I'm hungry. Don't bury it. So apparently, and I was Googling it, apparently dogs do it when they like, like they do it with things like bones and stuff where they like almost save it for later. But he was trying to bury it in the house and obviously like you can't dig anything up. Like look. Koba, don't put it in the bush. That's for you to eat, big man. It's not for you to bury. Enjoy it. Do you not understand the concept? Look, this is for you to eat. This is for you to actually eat. It's not for you to bury. That's it. Good boy. You don't have to bury it and save it for later. We've got some more. <laughs> we noticed that Cobra is like really odd with texture of food. So in the beginning, we'd give him something and he just wouldn't be sure on the texture. Like for his birthday, for example, we got him a puppy cupcake and the icing, I think he was fine with, but the actual texture of the cupcake, he was really confused by it. So we had to break it up and then he ate it. So sometimes like things like this, I don't think he quite knows that it's a treat like for him to eat. And I think that's why he tries to bury it sometimes as well. He's like, unsure what, what the actual thing is. Let's pop in. I knew What's it just hopped in. <laughs> I see what you got in your misguided parcel. Come on. So this parcel this morning come through and it had Jake's name on but it was a misguided parcel and I was like well it's not menace or anything because that's a misguided parcel uh, right? Is that a size 12? And he, he's brought some of my misguided edit. They look alright to be fair. What's this? And then you got, oh my god and then you got the matching. Yeah I want the full tracks. He got, he got the full tracks of Jake. Look you're getting commission on this anyway. It's just like the circle Them of royalties. <laughs> look at him. Curry, it literally looks like you got a cigar. Right, I'm about to be spawny. I'm gonna dye my hair. I'm gonna do it. Last time I dyed my hair was, I think it was a week before my birthday. So it's been about three creeping on four weeks. Um, normally I do leave my hair a little bit longer than that. Like normally I leave it like maybe six weeks. I mean the time before my birthday, I think it was like six months. <laughs> since i last dyed my hair like prior to that but box dyes if you don't keep on top of them they'll fade quicker so if i dyed my hair consistently like every say like six weeks my hair would grip onto the color better therefore it would last longer when i dyed it last where i left it so long before that it now has faded quite quick it doesn't look like it on here but in sunlight it looks more of like a really really light black almost like dark brown um and i want it to be as like dark as possible i don't know if you can even tell it really isn't bad at all my hair does hold onto the color reasonably well but i'm making excuses to be honest because at the end of the day this is a different color and i'm impatient and i just want to try this new color on my hair <laughs> rewind to the very beginning when i first dyed my hair i actually was going to dye it this color then changed my mind i kind of chickened out because i was going from like brown to black and before that i was blonde <laughs> um so because i was going so dark i didn't want to do anything like too crazy or do the most i was like right, we'll go black and then if i love the black which by the way a black is one of my favorite hair colors i've ever had i thought now is the time do what you always wanted to do jordan and it's not we're not crazy, okay? I'm not going pink. I'm about to do on my hair cosmic blue. This is the short scoff live intense color permanent. I think it's gonna be like like a black in more shadowed lighting, and then maybe when the sunlight hits it, it's gonna be like a midnight blue. Either way, I think it looks beautiful. Like the tone of it. I've always wanted to go like a black with a hint of like a little bit of color in it. We're gonna see how this goes, and if it suits me, I have absolutely no idea. Wish me luck, pals, and I'm doing it by myself. This is my sister's a qualified hairdresser as well. She's gonna be watching this cringing. I've already got it on my neck. What's the trick that some people do? I think they get Vaseline, like on their skin, and I think it stops the hair dye from staining, but at the end of the day, I don't have time for that. Move it through to make sure I've got most of it. I'm more conscious with this dye. Normally I just slap it on because it's obviously the same colour, but I don't know how like... Oh my god, that looks blue, doesn't it? Ow! Oh, does anybody else for like brush your hair through me? Hair dye on its stings. Done. I'm just trying to get out 
literally any last bits. And then just rub it through the ends of my hair to make sure I've got everywhere, but <laughs> I think I've worn my freaking skin now my own hair. I only used one box as well. So I do have short hair, so I probably could have used the second. Drenched it even more, but at the end of the day, the color will still stick. Your hair doesn't need to literally look like it's dripping wet for the color to stick. Especially if you just grab a comb and comb through it all. I feel like that evenly distributes the product. The scalp is sore, I'm not gonna lie to you. Combing through hair dye is not a comfortable feeling. If I have you wipe to remove any stains that I have on my arms or like on my neck as best as I can. Although when I rinse out anyway, my hairline especially, be absolutely fine. But while it's, I guess, not fully developed, I'm gonna try and get some off. Every time I do my hair though, this happens, like it's not, <laughs> it's not a big deal. Ignore the crazy shit going on behind me. My makeup room is still the biggest work in progress ever, but I have no idea what this is gonna look like. To be honest, right now it literally just looks like it's black. The color of your hair always looks different when it's wet though. It's when it's dry that you can really see it, which I'm gonna go dry it. I'm also going to get ready as well. I think we're going to actually start getting ready. I think it's like half four, 20 to five. Um, and I think I might actually start getting ready for tonight. Just get ready earlier so I can chill, have a drink, see when I'm looking more presentable, okay? Jeez, look at that. Okay. Okay, give, yeah, give us a 12, give us a 12. <laughs> yeah, you're looking really good, babe. Just get <laughs> <laughs> what you got? Oh, he loves it. He does love it. That was from last night. We had like half of it last night. Because waste not, want not. You cannot waste the fricks in that. I don't know what it's called, but this is the best freaking Prosecco you will ever try in your life. I just made this drink just because I'm kind of like working with what we have in the house. Side note, it's actually not normally this dead in here. We do not normally have music playing. <laughs> I actually blended this up so it's like a bit thicker than juice, right? But um, I got this juice the other week in Home Bargains, blending this up to make cocktails. So I got that with a little bit of vodka and I topped it off with Sprite as well just to give it a little bit of fizz. And it tastes really nice to be fair, it just literally tastes like juice. There's five shots of vodka in this too, but it just tastes like juice. Oh, I was feeling so drunk. Babe, you've literally had... Why are you being the lightweight? Normally it's me. You like you farted, haven't you? Either that or it's you. I am. One of you two have popped off. I have farted, Jordan. Right, Pooh's popped off. Pooh has smelled it, dealt with it. Whoever did the rhyme with the crown. Whoever did the rap with the crap. No, I took you that one. I'm gonna find a drink, yeah. Rum. Or whiskey grenadine drink. I'm drinking rum and red. Rum, Ooh. because then can we do like Bacardi? Right, we'll have these with it. What do we need? Limes? So. Limes? <laughs> Limes? Lime? 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 Rubbish. Next. Let's just uh, freestyle. Big don't look. Oh my god, what are you doing? Into both? Yeah. So squeeze all of one into one. Give me all the lime juice. Like genuinely, I would sit here, sit here and just suck on this. You know what, that's actually not bad. We're missing some music guys, and unfortunately you can't be here to join us with that, so um, maybe we'll check in in a bit. But for now I'm gonna drink this, whatever the fuck this is. Jake special or some shit. Back in the kitchen, pals. I swear, pretty much most of the vlog is in this place. <laughs> it's actually Sunday today, it's Easter. So happy Easter. <laughs> Decided I'd continue the vlog on and do it an extra day just so you guys get an extra long vlog plus. What I wanna do now, I feel like I just need to vlog. We just all need to know about this. I am about to make Easter egg cheesecake. I'm sorry, but doesn't that just sound like the best thing you have ever heard in your life? Fitting too, because it's Easter man. So, we are going to attempt that. You grab your Easter egg, I've got a mini egg one here, and you split it in half, and you fill each kind of cup of chocolate with cheesecake filling. I'm gassed about this. Like, genuinely, this sounds incredible. <laughs> thing is, I think I liked a um, recipe on TikTok, so I think I'm just going to follow that. Here's the recipe for Kinder Easter egg cheesecakes and white chocolate biscuit cheesecake. How incredible! Do they look? Get the ingredients out. Um, Philadelphia, double cream, Kinder chocolate, which I think a lot of this is for the toppings to be fair. I got a mix, I got like Hungry Hippos for the top, some Bueno for the top, but I think this one actually goes mixed like in with the cheesecake. Five grams of biscuits and 35 grams of butter. By the way, I'm gonna link the TikTok below um, so you can see the measurements from the ingredients in case you wanna do this, if obviously it turns out great. <laughs> Amazing, I've got my scales here so I can actually like. <laughs> Profesh. Wait, I've just thought, I've got a Nutribullet 
I should just blend that in there, right? It saves me doing that. Oh my god. Are you excited for the cheesecake? Sweetie, you can't have any. I know. It's a sad life. It's a sad life, but listen, you can have a chicken and peanut butter treat. Mix them together. This literally smells incredible already. Like, I just want to, you know. Oh my God, mine's already in half. Yes, lads. Uh, look at that. It knew, it fucking knew that I was making this. When the biscuits and butter are mixed, you want to just put them in the bottom of the cheesecake. Bottom of the cheese, bottom of the Easter egg. That one's done. I probably should wear gloves for this because I feel like the actual um, chocolate is going to melt, but it's fine. We'll just be quick. We're going to melt this chocolate and then she said to allow it to cool slightly and then you mix the kind of cream cheese, icing sugar, vanilla essence all into a bowl. Philadelphia cream cheese, 65 grams of icing sugar. Then you're going to need some vanilla essence. I think it's like half a teaspoon. Fab. I'll combine your cream cheese, icing sugar, and vanilla essence and mix until it's smooth. Okay, babe, so I'm gonna mix until it's smooth. I'm gonna add the melted Kinder chocolate into this as well. Sixty-five grams of double cream. I think you just add this until it like thickens it up a little bit. Do you know what I love though? The like quantities. You know like when you make a big cheesecake, it's obviously like bigger quantities of stuff. This is smaller and I feel like it's easier and I don't know why. I'm actually gonna put them in the fridge for like 10, 15 minutes before I decorate them, just so they can get a little bit thicker. But they look amazing. I'm gonna have to try some of that cheesecake mix. And that, it's unreal. I was like, just like a hint of kinder. Oh my God, that's unbelievable. I don't know what Koba's doing. Koba, where are you? Why are you in the dining room? <sighs> Okay, it's an abrupt ending. After this, me and Jake, because the weather was nice, we did have a little barbecue and I did record some footage, but it didn't import properly. Uh, I know, uh, fucking hell. <laughs> I've just realized too, the footage of the final cheesecakes as well, completely gone. They looked unreal as well. Basically, I decorated them the same as how she did with the Hungry Hippos, the bits of like Kinder. I even put some mini eggs on there. I wish I could have shown you, but believe me, they were unreal. They looked unreal and they tasted unreal. <laughs> Why I didn't even take a picture of them, I don't know. I think it's just because I blocked them. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll catch you soon.